Why did Ryan Fitzpatrick leave the Dolphins? In 2020 when Tua Tungavailoa appeared, Brian Flores made the most wrong choices in his career. Tua had disappointing performances for fans. Ryan Fitzpatrick is at the peak of his career at the age of 38 and Flores is looking to ruin him. We can see how well Ryan Fitzpatrick's 2020 season played. He was dubbed the Fitz Magic after helping the Dolphins win against the Las Vegas Raiders. After the Dolphins insisted their starter would be Tua Tungavailoa in the 2021 season. Fitzpatrick chose to leave Dolphins and find himself a new team where he will be shown and proven he is better than Tua Tungavailoa. Right now I'm playing better than I've played in my career. I love football. I love the competition, says Fitzpatrick. I feel like I got a lot of great football ahead of me, which sounds crazy being 38. Said he sat down with his wife and told her he felt like he's playing the best football of his life and still loved the game. She told him, you'd be crazy not to keep playing. Ryan Fitzpatrick New Start Ryan Fitzpatrick kicked off the next chapter of his long and adventurous NFL life when he conducted his introductory press conference with his latest team, the Washington football team. Fitzpatrick will be playing for his ninth team after spending the past two seasons with the Miami Dolphins, for whom he earned team MVP honors in 2019 and helped make a push for the playoffs in 2020. That Fitzpatrick would leave as an unrestricted free agent this offseason seemed like a given all along considering how often he mentioned the past two seasons that what keeps him going in his late 30s is competing and the chance to play. And that's exactly what he said again Thursday when he also touched on some Dolphins-related topics. I just love playing football. I love being out there. After this last season, the climb that I've made in my career, I'm playing better right now than I've ever played in my career. I just feel like I've got a lot of great football ahead of me, which sounds crazy being 38 years old and figuring some things out about myself. I love football. I love the competition. I love the camaraderie. I love working together as a team for a common goal. Those are just things that I don't know where else I'd find that. So, after last season and sitting down with my wife and just saying, look, I think I'm playing better than I ever have, and I still love this game. She just looked at me and said, you'd be crazy not to keep playing. That's a lot of the reason why I still do it. A side note from that, just having seven little kids that are able to kind of experience this with me and just see what dad does for a living, that's a lot of fun for me, too. What wasn't fun for Fitzpatrick was the way his time in Miami ended. A week after coming off the bench to help the Dolphins pull off a miraculous victory against the Las Vegas Raiders that kept them in control of their playoff fate, Fitzpatrick was forced to sit out the season finale at Buffalo after landing on the COVID-19 reserve list. With Fitzpatrick away from the team and unable to help if needed, the Dolphins ended up on the very wrong end of a 56-26 result that knocked them out of the playoffs. It was rough, Fitzpatrick said. It was the ultimate high of Week 16 coming in against the Raiders and having the end of the game comeback, then coming back three days later and finding out that now I had COVID. It went to the ultimate high to the ultimate low, sitting in a room quarantining for 10 days and missing my son's birthday. It was a tough two weeks there. Just like everybody else in the country, we've done our best to try to manage it and stay safe. I know that my situation, it was tough, but there were a lot of people that had a lot worse things. I'm glad that part of it is over and none of my family got it besides me. That was probably the one positive of them being in Tampa last year and me being in Miami. That was the ultimate high and the ultimate low for me back-to-back -back weeks. Fitzpatrick would not reveal Thursday how many teams showed an interest in him in free agency, though he did take a shot at the report suggesting he was leaning toward retirement, a report we refuted a few days later when we confirmed he still very much wanted to keep playing. Truth is, Fitzpatrick has been playing the best football of his career over the past three seasons, one with Tampa Bay and the two with Miami. Fitzpatrick said his turnaround as a quarterback came at a time when he got to work with one of the Dolphins' two new co-offensive coordinators. I think when I look at my career, I think 2014 when I got with Bill O'Brien in Houston and George Godsey as my quarterback's coach, that was a turning point in my career, Fitzpatrick said. They helped me see the game in a different way. Since then, I just feel like I've become a much better player. 2016 was a rough year for me for a lot of different reasons. But from 14 on, I feel like I've just gotten better every single year. 
I had a chance to learn a couple different offenses from a couple different coordinators and coaches, and I just continue to incorporate things that I like about different offenses and things I've grown to like about my playing experience every year. I think it's really helped me. While he's excited to keep playing and getting a legitimate chance to compete for a starting job, there is one way about Washington that's a bit of a drawback for Fitzpatrick. And it's got to do with his famous beard. I found the right barber, he said. It's going to be tough moving away from him in Tampa, shout out to Ali. Other than that, I've got to run a comb through it every morning. I don't really brush my hair, but I do have to brush my beard. That's about it. Dolphins land their backup QB. Who is this QB Brissett guy? And why? A day after veteran Ryan Fitzpatrick agreed to terms to leave the Miami Dolphins, the organization found his replacement. The team agreed to terms on a one-year contract with former New England Patriots draft pick and Indianapolis Colts starter Jacoby Brissett, per a league source. The deal with Brissett came on the same day two other veteran quarterbacks came to agreements around the league, Tyrod Taylor with the Houston Texans, Andy Dalton with the Chicago Bears. Of all the quarterbacks scheduled to become unrestricted free agents, though, Brissett might have been the most appealing on the market. The Dolphins needed a new backup quarterback once it became clear that Fitzpatrick was not going to come back to Miami for a third season, and Brissett is a great fit. Brissett got $5 million guaranteed on a contract with a maximum value of $7.5 million, according to Boston Globe NFL writer Ben Volin. He has served in that capacity before, working behind Andrew Luck in 2018 and behind Philip Rivers with the Colts last season. Brissett also has been a starter in the league and certainly would be able to step in if needed. He started 15 games in both 2017, after Luck sustained a season-ending shoulder injury, and in 2019, after Luck abruptly retired in the preseason. Brissett had 31 touchdown passes against 13 interceptions in those two seasons as a starter, though the team's record in his starts was only 11-19. Barring a major trade, Tua Tungavailoa will be the Dolphins' starting quarterback in 2021, so the goal was to find a backup good enough to start in certain circumstances. With Fitzpatrick and Dalton headed to Washington and Chicago, that eliminated the two most logical options for any backup hoping to legitimately compete for a starting job, which then made Miami an appealing option. Signing only a one-year deal allows Brissett the opportunity to revisit the quarterback landscape next offseason and there's certainly the possibility that this one-year contract could lead to other deal and a long stint in Miami. One appealing factor for Brissett is the opportunity to come home. He was born and played high school football in West Palm Beach before moving to North Carolina State University. The Patriots took him in the third round of the 2016 NFL Draft even though they already had Tom Brady and Jimmy Garoppolo on the roster. Brissett, ironically, made his first NFL regular season appearance against the Dolphins in Week 2 of the 2016 season when Brady was serving his NFL suspension for Deflagate and Garoppolo was injured in the second quarter with New England leading 21-0. Brissett completed 6 of 9 passes that day and New England hung on for a 31-24 victory. Brissett would start the next two games before being traded the next September to the Colts in a one-on-one -on -one trade for speedy wide receiver Philip Dorsett. In September 2019, the Colts signed Brissett to a two-year, $30 million extension. Brissett now comes back to South Florida for the next chapter of his career and the Dolphins have taken care at least for a year, of their backup quarterback situation.